This video explains the congenital heart condition, Tetralogia fallow. It may be useful to watch our video on how the normal heart works before watching this one. In Tetralogia fallow, the heart develops with two main abnormalities. The first of these is an obstruction to blood being pumped from the heart to the lungs. The part of the heart that pumps blood to the lungs is called the right ventricle. Blood passes from the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary artery, which then divides into right and left pulmonary arteries to take blood to the right and left lungs. The obstruction to blood being pumped to the lungs can occur at different levels. There may be a narrowing within the right ventricle just below the pulmonary valve due to an excess or overgrowth of heart muscle. There may also be an obstruction at the pulmonary valve itself. It may be too small or formed in such a way that it doesn't open very well. The obstruction can also be within the pulmonary artery or its branches, which may be narrow. The other main abnormality in Tetralogy of Fallow is a hole in the wall that divides the right and left ventricles. This is called a ventricular septal defect, or VSD. There are two other characteristic features of Tetralogy of Fallow. The muscle of the right ventricle is thicker than normal, and this occurs because of the obstruction to blood flow to the lungs. Lastly, the position of the aorta, the main blood vessel that takes blood from the left ventricle to the body, is shifted so that it lies over the ventricular septal defect. The abnormalities in Tetralogy of Fallow affect the way blood flows through the heart. Blood that is low in oxygen enters the right atrium from the veins and then moves to the right ventricle as normal. However, the obstruction to blood entering the pulmonary arteries means that some blood is forced through the ventricular septal defect into the aorta. This means that some blood that has low levels of oxygen is pumped to the body rather than to the lungs. The bluer blood that contains lower levels of oxygen mixes with the redder blood that contains higher levels of oxygen that is being pumped from the left ventricle to the aorta and to the body. And this causes the person's oxygen levels to be lower than normal. This lower level of oxygen causes their skin to be slightly blue in colour and this is called cyanosis.